Where we go? Welcome. Oh, wait, do I have to invite him? There we go. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh Lord! Remember, I'm at your still host since our previous podcast was canceled. Oh, I'm I'm host this time. You're, yeah, our previous podcast was canceled. Bro, yeah, you got you got to stop surprising me. Okay, have yeah. you tried this yellow? First thing, first thing. It's very important because we just went to Sonic. Have you ever had this, like, you, yellow? You don't want to end. You just want to go straight to the point. They added this wing. Per- wing. Have you never wing heard suavity? Freaking intro, bro. Uh, yeah. Straight what? to the point, boys. First point of the day. Have you ever tried like I think it's a yellow birthday cake shape at Sonic? So <laughs> what? A like yellow birthday Buddy, cake shake. I hate to break it to you, but that's not Good birthday mom. cake. <laughs> 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 that's funny, but it's delicious. I mean, Wait, if it's if it's yellow, and it's yellow, even I just someone, have the feeling that hey. when I'm eating that, I'm eating urine. So you know, it I know. Nice. Even if someone, hey, mm-hmm. someone out there has delicious pee. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. That's what this is. Uh, what uh, is uh, guys uh, pee or something? Yeah. If it is I'm pee, at, I don't I'm at his taste pee. testing. <laughs> 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 yo, 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 yo! Should I bring? Uh, I actually don't know Tempest. You saw, right? You saw, right? Yeah, I saw um, on our channel. We hit a hundred. Yeah, I have a feeling the guy who made I, the person who put us to a hundred feels so powerful right now. I know that's why I was worried about bringing it up. He's gonna be like, hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so in I, the previous I, podcast, not the one that was canceled, the one before it, I think it was the one before it. I said that whenever we get to 100 subs, I'll do a FNAF Help Wanted series. Now, this is actually going to be a decision. Do you want me to upload all the videos for Walking Dead first? Get that series done? Because I already have all the recording. I haven't started on the FNAF. Or you want me to up- upload a first episode of FNAF first? What would you, know, you think? I'm pretty sure you're talking to me, but the way you said it was like you were talking to the audience. Like it was like Dory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, because like, like what you do know, you think? We they, have they, no they, audience except the big body and what, you know, what's his name? Budget. Big body I mean, like, like plant. What, what would you rather watch? Does the FNAF circle go in the tri- or the square? Would you want to tweet the... I um, meant shut up. Dish. Let me listen to Tempest. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to speak. Anyways, I am the would you rather... Host host my host. God. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if, would you rather like me upload the rest of the Walking Dead episode so you can finish that series? Or you want me to start on the FNAF Help Wanted series? <laughs> Well, in the meantime, you'll start uh, suffering editing both both of the videos. No, or if I don't you... edit. The you most sure? editing, the most editing I would do to FNAF up one is like cuts. I wouldn't like do any like the cuts where you start dying and stuff. Like, I, I that'd be I'd do a highlight maybe for like a long time from now. But I only like cut like whenever there's nothing exciting going on, like whenever I'm just like exploring things. I mean, I recommend you to like start doing the FNAF one already. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you got um, I, me. I, I, I asked I asked Puff and he said I should include my voice. So you know, you're gonna get to hear me scream as well. Oh yeah, true. Your most of your video videos are like kinda Actually, I actually yeah. have one video of FNAF. I might have deleted it, but it was a long time ago. Whenever I first got the game, I no. I went I went. Amet disagrees with me with this. I think um parts and service is the least scary. Uh, who said I disagree? I don't think and it's you the. Did? I mean, I don't think it's the like, least. Scary. Well, hang on. I, I remember saying like parts and service was the least scary, and you're like, absolutely not. Like, honestly, it's the, no, the one with, like, the doll just, like, is sitting in the middle of the room. That one's, like, the least scary. Like, with, like, Balloon Boy and Plush. Oh, no. Uh, well, it's all scary. But, you know, Parts and Service really isn't that hard. I mean, I proved him, like, my brother was saying, Parts and Service is too hard. I can't even beat it. And I over here got, we're on Freddy. I mean, it was there, and I just completed it first try. So I'm really good at the game. I just don't want to play it because it's scary. I don't know that. Yeah, you do. I don't, don't remember. I don't, don't remember. Don't Turn I don't remember. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anywho, so hosting uh, topics, boys, topics, right? Yeah, continue. 
Damn. We need topics. Oh, so. try, to, try to make I, them I, last. Don't speed run these topics. Try to make them last. Oh my gosh. We've okay. been recording for like five minutes. Right. So I never really got the answer the to the question. So I'm going to okay. take it as a no. You've never had the yellow birthday cake thing at Sonic. Well, you know, if you if you describe it as a yellow birthday cake thing, it's kind of hard to figure out what it's it is. It's a yellow birthday cake shake thing. It's, it's like probably a lemon, lemon birthday cake. You, you guys want to hear a story about Sonic? Basically, no. you, know how, you know how I work at Hamburger Depot, and we, we make burgers. The burgers, they look really good, and I, I get used to the look of them. Then my mom decided, we, got, we go get Sonic. I unwrapped my burger, and I'm like, dear God. Oh, yeah, like point. You remember? It, it was so disappointing. Oh, that's sad. Oh, it was so that, sad. It was so sad. There. Basically, <laughs> you know, like, those Wendy's commercials that says, don't get this, get our new, like, burger or something? Well, the mm-hmm. don't get this is exactly what that burger looked like. It said, don't get this. I could have made a meme out of it, but I didn't take a picture. Yo, yo, so you're saying your your whole hamburger depot is better than your Sonic? Bro, the meat tasted like water. Yo, yo, I don't know what anyone says. I prefer fast food actually, over actual food. Actually, They're making I started, I started actually, no, just wait. I, I, started, I started making burgers recently, so like I know why it tasted like water. Basically, at, at our work, we're only supposed to press it twice, because if you press it more than that, you'll put too much juice, and you don't want a dry burger, but that's exactly what Sonic did. You know how the patties are really flat? Because the juices, they squirted, um, um, smash all the juices out. I don't particularly like. I don't Pardon? particularly like. I don't particularly like Sonic or anything, but I do prefer fast food burgers over like Hamburger Depot burgers or like just restaurant. Unbelievable! Unbelievable. It's not a restaurant; it's a small business, and you know, small I business, know. small businesses outdo everything. So you know, I, don't know. I know what Hamburger Depot is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm the only one who doesn't work here. Dang. Uh, yeah. No, Ahmed doesn't work either. Ahmed I doesn't work. work either. I he doesn't work either. either. <laughs> I've been putting uh, in the grind at the local. Ahmed, I don't believe no, that no, no, you. No. You probably. He, he, no, I, I feel like you're just a lazy motherfucker. I'm right the now. oldest. Yeah, I'm the oldest in the server, bro. Yes, yeah, and you still don't have a job. I'm an elder <laughs> to you people. Ah, uh, they call How me. How old are you again? I'm nineteen. He's Seventeen. Yeah. I'm 19. <laughs> 19, bro. He's 19. He's 19. I'm 19, bro. He's 19. I live in my own uh, mansion. Yeah, he lives in his own mansion. <laughs> How do, where do you think all the money from a Met Tempest goes? He's in yeah, my mansion. Like, I, I, give, I only give Tempest a small 5% pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like if I ever meet you guys in real life, where, where I'm hoping I don't, Mm. I, I'm probably going to be crying in the ground. Mm. That's unfortunate. No. Yeah, because you guys are so stupid. What do you mean? Not, hey, you are, we are actually first of all, Tempest, I feel like you're going to have a yay, yay Miko body pillow at some point. With what, especially what's with, wrong with a body pillow, first of all? Why does it make you stupid? It's him who likes body it's, pillows. Excuse what the me. hell happened? You're supposed to sign me here. Aren't you 19? <laughs> yeah, he's 19. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's totally 19. Actually, not- actually, hang on, hang on. Yeah. What Ahmed said he wanted. Like, the number one thing he said he wanted. Be very careful with what you're <laughs> it, was, it was um an Awoogie hoodie or something like that. Oh, and a Higo face hoodie. Yeah. A Higo face. Do you know what that is? Oh, Apparently, you know oh, what that is. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm such an adult. The one thing I want is this floating moon. It costs $99.99. But it's really cool. It's floating like a magnetic moon. floating moon. It's a desert. I get a floating moon for free every night. So, uh huh. Oh. What is that? Uh, okay, I I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. okay. But I that that's oh my god, your mic is blowing up. Anyways, I can pay a hundred dollars to have mine. Uh, it was. It's not much anymore. But see, I can I can pay a hundred dollars to have my own private moon. 
That that moon you look at, that's public. Yo, you have a private moon? I well, I mean, no one else sees it in my eyes, so it's... I, I am co-CEO of Emmett Tempest, you know? Yeah, you get 5% pay cuts. Ah! Yeah. Thanks, oh, wait, what happened? We were talking about how I'm rich. And I can... I no, have yeah, my, yeah, 5%, I, 5% of Emmett Tempest is still like... I have, a, I have a private moon, and this guy's still using the public moon. Yo, <laughs> wow. the public <laughs> moon be the stuff, though. Imagine not having a private <laughs> moon... Yo, 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 I don't require trivial things like that. I look okay. beyond that. Hang on. I just forgot we didn't have music. You know what? All they need to hear is our voice. They don't need music. You see, that's why I'm older than you. All my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> my so hard you, work. Hang on. you know how, Amit, you finished your, like, license thing? Like, a year and a half ago. Met many, a long time ago. <laughs> and he still hasn't go, gotten the appointment so he can actually get his driver's license. Yo, He's I finished everything. Dri- I can go take the driver's test tomorrow, but I'd have to go. Like, I think you might want to because my mom is trying to make me like finish it because she did um her part and she said, okay, I just finished this. Now you got a deadline. So now I have a deadline. So I've been like working on a, a good amount. I'm probably going to get it. Probably going to get it next week. If I like really try, yeah, but, you know, um, my older brother is my older brother is eighteen and he's got his driver license and you guys are over here. I'm sixteen, just to let you know. I'm really young. Oh wow. Sixteen. I, 16, 16, 16, <laughs> I okay, forgot you okay. were young. I would like to point out you are sixteen, almost seventeen. Um I have wait. You were May, correct? Hey, Isn't no, it March for May? No, I mean, March. Actually, it's no, almost May. April. You are I have four months. I have no, 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 are, no, 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 no. It is March 30th. You have, you have like three and a half months. No, no, because okay. my older brother started learning how to drive. He mastered everything. He just needed to get the driver license. He mastered uh, driving at age 15. And here oh, you right. guys are. Actually, so I, re- you know, actually I don't know. I, I sat my mom's lap at seven and I was steering that. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Since, since I live out in the country, I've actually mastered driving when I was like twelve or thirteen because we have to drive <laughs> side by side. Listen, we have to drive side by sides. We drive side by. They're called side by sides. You can call them buggy if you want. Basically, no, no. fancy four wheelers is what they are. We the have to drive time, them. I, I the hunt one, as well. I used to do that as a kid as well, but the when I was I'm, I'm the run to the I'm the run to the family. They never let me drive anything. And the when one I was like ten or eleven, my mom would let me ha- have the car like to drive it down a path over there because we had a ranch. I almost crashed it towards a tree. Oh, that that's right. nothing. That's nothing. Here, that's nothing. <laughs> nothing. I was explaining something. I'm the run to the family. Never got to drive the side by sides or much or anything, but there was one time they allowed me. And as I was mm-hmm. driving, I was doing okay. I got back to the house. I was driving in the barn. My dad's like, oh, you're doing well. And I saw my dad's motorcycle right there. I was like, oh, no. Right in front of where I had to park. And he was like, slam on the brakes. And I hit the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, stop. <laughs> you just rammed your dad's motorcycle. I was like, which one's the brake? This one. And it just went forward. Okay. Yo, Eventually, I stopped it, and he was like, "Okay, hey, uh, you don't drive again." Dang, that's unfortunate. But luckily, the motorcycle wasn't damaged, and I mean, neither was I. Yeah, uh, but mm-hmm. still, still, almost wrecked my dad's, you know, motorcycle, and oh man, I got oh. spanked for drawing a butt on a balloon once. Like I could only imagine. Speaking <laughs> of balloons, let's talk about Stewart. Oh yeah, Stuart. That view, bro. My mastery. I just take a vi- five second video of a balloon. Six hundred views, bro. Mm-hmm. Jacob over here I- literally ferments orange juice for like three months. <laughs> it, it was it, that orange juice has been sitting there for ages. I just never took it out, and then I took it out, and I'm like, oh, that's what old orange juice looks like. That's disgusting. Jacob, you almost <laughs> never thought about the world has less than a year. Before I'm an adult, oh. man. Or, you know, bring out her most useless thing. Oh my god! Hang on, you guys. You guys ever heard of um the test? 
No. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys. I got a fucking eighty six on my math exam. Yo, 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 yeah, yo. Wow. Eighty six. I'm amazing. I don't you see I'm big poggers never made anything less than a hundred. In fact, most of the time I make hundreds of tens. <laughs> I meant stop this lying. Man, this man this man does his homework five minutes before the teacher picks it up. That's a, <laughs> that, that's a <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. Mr. Bozeman said we couldn't take out our, our computers when I normally take I do my homework before second period in first period. But he was yeah, like, I No did. computers today, so I couldn't look on the online. So legit started my homework when I sat into my second period, the four minutes we and I it took me like two minutes to get there. So I legit did my homework in three minutes. <laughs> That's a you, know, you, you know how there's like you know, the inter- you know those memes on the internet doing your homework before the teacher picks it up as a sport? It really is. Yeah. I am an yeah, athlete. It is a competitive sport. And I am the best champion. <laughs> bro, yeah. bro, legit, legit, there was one time when there was a gluing assignment where I had glue in our journal that I didn't know about until I sat in the room and people were pulling it out. I pulled it out, cut the paper, started gluing, and literally finished gluing like the last one, slid the glue and scissors off my desk as she turned around from the kid next to me to look at my table. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. That's crazy. And she was just going by to check that you did it, so she didn't even make sure I had everything glued right. She was like, all right, that's right. I was See, like, my math, my math class isn't really hard. He has this Pickering, which gives homework every day. I don't know why. But I, I um, Miss Pickering, if you hear this, oh, you're so lovely. You're an amazing teacher. If you don't, the she devil. <laughs> well, I have, I have a different teacher who, because I already took that class, so they just threw me in math because I didn't really need well, it. But well, Miss Pickering, she's not a she devil. Algebra two, that she te- there's a way she te- as a teacher, she's a she devil. Like, like mm-hmm. she's nice, but like, bruh, bruh. I'm not gonna. The, the day I graduate, I'm never gonna do an algebra two problem again. Like, <laughs> bruh. If anyone shows I mean, me an algebra two problem, I'm gonna say you frick you. I'm not doing. Whatever depends you know, on your body. Know, like, you what if what you're say, like about on, to die? And, oh, hang on. You you know what they say? It's best to have something you don't need than to need something you don't. Have. Well, you know what? I have Google, so. <laughs> I have we all expect something that we don't have. <laughs> I have photo math, so I don't photo, need that. photo math exists. And it's not better to have hey. something you don't need. No one needs cancer, but some people have it. I bet they don't want it. You want it anyway? The test. That's basically it's basically like a game. It asks you a bunch of questions and then like does something at the end. Well, oh, there was this. There I was think this, I like, know which game you're talking about. Like, yeah. It, yeah, there's this dude trying to take a test, but he's trying to cheat as well. So he brings out his book to hide his phone. Uh, so he uh, could that's, get, a, that's, that's something else. You know that's what I've always wanted to do? I've always wanted to learn magic, but mainly to use it in school. I want to like ha- I want to do that trick where you like put a soda in a bag and then just crush the bag and it's gone. I want to like just drink a soda in the middle of the class in front of a stingy teacher. She'd be like put like throw it away. She like I just keep on drinking and she comes to try to take it and I just like it, I just voodoo magic it going. Bro, what are you talking about? And then I open the bag back up and pull out a bottle of water. Like, bro, I want to do that shit stuff. Mm, they, oh, I said stuff. So, any of boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we're, you're gonna need to cut that out. Oh, no, I said stuff. Uh, I the point we is, know. I want to learn how to do magic, bro. What? No, like, I well, magic how to do that. does seem pretty cool. If it means I could, uh, like, literally just. All of a sudden, bully some kids with <laughs> some type of magic or push know, them. Boy, like, the going invisible people. and start pushing them or anything. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. I, I, I like real people. magic. I just wanted to be able to do, like, some really cool sleight of hand. I want to be able to take people's watches and phones without them knowing. That way I can assert my dominance over them. Haha, I have your phone. I could legit throw this into your life. Yeah, and I also want to, like, I also want to, like, kind of fucking... Do something about those girls who are always gossiping about guys or something like, oh my god, please stop talking about men. I know, bro, I bro. know, but like, stop. It's Jacob. good. Why are you being quiet, bro? What? He's muted. Why? Okay, I'm back. All right, thank you. Oh, Apparently, 
my mom decided that was the perfect time to go mess with me. Moms are <laughs> like, you know, there's yeah. a worse. Moms are something. amazing. Anywho, um, how is y'all's day today? That's a great. We should have started with that. You know, I'm gonna, gonna, start doing, you know, I'm gonna start doing karaoke again, so my throat's about to hurt. And like, uh, after this podcast, yo. Also, yeah. In this, you better. Um, uh, there's not a trouble with the recording, is there? No. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, so I've been thinking of a subject. Subject: favorite sports. Bruh, no, I ain't nobody here care about sports. Bruh, maybe some of our sports. viewers. Do. Wait, wait, wait! No, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay. Um, the I'll viewers are in here. I let somebody else go first. This reminds me better. Uh, like plant. What's your favorite sport? And then we'll discuss that sport. Uh, my favorite sport. Um, uh, <clears throat> doing you wrong. Well, oh, wow. Man, I like that sport too, except only, uh, we're not going to talk about that. I was going to say, you like your mom? Ew. No, 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 no. I was going to say your mom. I was going to say your mom, Jacob, but I don't want your mom to look at this. Like, yo. Jacob. No, Jacob. I'm wearing, I'm wearing headphones. She can't hear me. No, I don't want her to watch this and be like, oh. She, she don't know the channel. I told her, like, when we first got it, and she was like, okay, cool. You know, every single person who watches this video, if this video ever blows up, are going to try their hardest to ping your mom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you guys want to know what my favorite sport is or should be? No. Yes, I you do. do. Oh, okay. All right. The world go. wants to know, Tempest. The world wants to know. All right. Holy. Um, it's and I guess you consider it NSFW, but I don't. I wouldn't consider it. I would. Do you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? Oh my gosh! I don't know about you guys, but I consider that to be a sport. Esports. You got a point. I mean, does esports also count as a sport? It has yep. sports as its name. Oh, okay, then yeah. esports. Man, well, uh, I've decided the best subject is bonkers with the two of you. Uh, how about, how about, uh, man, 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 Jacob doesn't watch. Uh, man, what's your favorite TV Y'all show? Y'all want to talk about uh, Will Smith and what was his name? Chris Rock. Yeah, Chris Rock. Bro, honestly, you know, when I saw that and watched Chris Rock get hitting, the only thing that went through my mind is that's Marty from Madagascar. That was, that was <laughs> Uh, it, 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 hang on, it was the fish from Short Tales versus Marty from Madagascar. I know, I was, that's what went through my mind. No, but there's so many memes about it. Like, there's the, it's like, kind of like uh, Will Smith with a gun and stuff, and they edited, like, the, some kind of title saying, protecting my, wi- my wife from the zebra of Madagascar and yo, stuff. Yo, 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 someone should have tagged that. You the fish and the zebra <laughs> slapping <laughs> Please, someone. Please tell me someone tagged that bad boys. Bad boys for life. Bro. Somebody better auto tune that and send it to me. Yo. What? So, uh, you I mean, watch your if you want, if you want to discuss what happened, I mean, who do you guys like? I mean, who do you think's in the wrong here, Jacob? What's your perspective on the situation? Like, that's the um, awesome. Well, I don't know much about it. All I know is that he made a joke about his wife or something yeah. like that. So here's what happened. I think it's kind of. I think it. Yeah, give me some backstory. All right. So they were at the Oscars. Chris Rock was like, if there's tons, the video is literally everywhere. But um, Chris Rock, he's like, he's a comedian. He's the guy who voices Marty. That's from Madagascar. That's where I recognized his voice. He was he was standing up. He's apparently been a host for a lot of things. He's he's got a wide career. Anywho, he uh, he was hosting the Oscars and he was you know making a few jokes and everything, just livening the place up. And he and he made a joke about his uh, Will Smith's wife. He's Will uh, GI Jane is like a female GI Joe version where GI Jane doesn't have any hair, and um, that's just that that's just thing about GI Jane. And he made a GI oh, yeah. Jane joke about his wife because uh, Will Smith's wife has a condition right now. I don't know what it is. That, where her, she doesn't have any hair. And so mm-hmm. Will Smith's wife got like... Will Smith, if you watch the video, laughed at the joke at first. But his wife yeah. like, rolled her eyes, looked at him, and he was probably like, oh, shit. No, I yeah, mean, I'll I 
And then he had to stand up and he walk. He stood up, walked over to um Chris Rock after he made the joke on like live television, like just slapped the man. I don't know if it was live, but, like on television. The, the most annoying annoying part about it, I don't know, but something about that Marty from Maddie guys, his face while he was walking up to, it, I, I just hate that face. <laughs> I just hate that face. Yo. Uh, and then he got slapped, and then Will Smith got to sit down. I think that was like that. That's where he should have stopped. But afterward, he like yelled, "Keep my wife's name out your mouth." Yeah, he, I know. I've heard it. That that's a that's a dad yell right there. I know. Like that was like that yell. Like the end, like, when I like, first heard it, that sent goosebumps down my spine. If he would have sat down, like I can understand, I guess pent up aggression. He got up and slapped the man. But if I would have done that after I slapped that man, I would have been like, "Oh, no. Bro, that would have been all my aggression." If I slapped, I would have sat down, wouldn't have been able to move. But this man, even after that, was like, he said it twice. He was like, "Keep my wife's name out your freaking mouth," and then he said yes, and then he was like, and then he said it with like a pure, like he put some, and that the second time he yelled it. And then Chris mm-hmm. Rock was just like, I, I will. <laughs> I'm not going to say that again tonight. And then Will Smith won an Oscar later that day. But... Yeah. <laughs> so basically, like, what I'm interested in, I think they're both in the right. Because, you know, it's a comedian's job to make jokes. you got to understand that he's a comedian. That's what he does. Mm-hmm. Not, not, but not everybody's humor is the you same. You mean they're both in the, they're both in the, like, like both in the yeah, right? Yeah, they're both in the good zone. Like, Will Smith reacted like, um, well, not... Will Smith could have reacted a little bit less. Like, he could have, like, gave him a I don't like, think... Hey, I mean, Will Smith should have been a little more professional. He may have insulted his wife, but he was he was intending to make a joke. And even if the joke wasn't friendly, getting up and slapping him like that on television, yeah. that's that's a mark on both their careers. Like, it's yeah. just... Like, like and now you like, made this man. Like, you now made Chris Rock. Like, you did that. He, they, they're not going to stop the Oscars. At least they could have, probably. But they didn't. Mm-hmm. And he had to sit down, and Chris Rock just had to continue going after which, and he did, which was what impressed me. Um, mm-hmm. Like, like, bro. And I could, I think I watched the video a few times. I definitely think Chris Rock wanted to slap Will Smith back, <laughs> but mm. he, he, that's what, like, like, I mean, I understand why Will Smith, you know, print of aggression for his wife, you know, defend your woman, bro. Do you like? Right. I feel since, like since it was just a joke. I think you could have like said, "Hey, talk down a little bit." G.I. Jane. That. The man legit just said, I-, "I can't wait to see G.I. Jane too." And he just kind of—it was a joke. It, I mean, the man, Will Smith could have been like, "Hey, that, like, don't, don't, don't do that." Like, that, like that's what I would have done. I would have been like, "Hey, hey, hey yeah, hey, don't, calm don't, down a little bit. Don't, don't say that." I would have just I gone real serious. That I'm. That's the worst I would have done. Now, yeah, Will Smith didn't hate it at first. He th- he kind of giggled at the joke. Yeah, you can see it in the video when Chris Rock says the joke. Like Will Smith just smiles, but you see yeah, him look over his it. wife, who like rolled her eyes and stuff. So his wife probably, I don't know, probably really implied to him, "Hey, bruh." You know, and if I, mean, I had a guess, like maybe Will Smith's wife, um, like after he sat back down, he was like, "You didn't need to do all of that, <laughs> maybe." I mean, yeah, yeah. When, Will, when Will Smith smacked back down, his wife was like, I trained you well. <laughs> Bro, but like, honestly, he sh- that was a little too far. And then yelling yeah. that, like, he got, like, the aggression, like, it had very little escalation, and he kept the aggression going for a while, and there were just, a, it was a, it was an amazing amount of aggression for such a little amount of, like, it was like, it was like throwing a match on the ground and starting a wildfire. Like, oh. such a little start. In a huge place. It was that, hang on, guys. It was that guy from Fortnite versus the other guy from Fortnite. Mm-hmm. What's that voice from? Her life from Will Smith. More, think, more topics. Give I'm more topics. That means. I remember, I was thinking that joke. Have you all seen uh, the 14 year old boy that sadly died in this roller coaster? Oh, yeah, what? I saw that too. One, one of the people in one of my classes was like, why didn't someone go and try to catch him? We had to explain to him that's that's not how physics work. Um, yeah, it's just actually someone would have gone to if someone would have gone to catch him at the velocity at which he was falling. You know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I feel like it was um in the start of the video. I heard something. Hey, did you check the seatbelt? And did you check the seatbelt? Because apparently, one of the seatbelts were loose. 
That's why and I'm afraid of roller, that's why I'm afraid of roller coasters. Also, I haven't actually seen the video. I just heard everyone talking about it. So I mean, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. my man had a point. I don't know how far he actually fell. So he, maybe someone could have tried. Hard. I I heard like the, his bones kind of like breaking or something. I just heard the. I mean, and he's I not the wrong. Way. Like we had a small discussion about it in class. I never actually saw the video. If he wasn't falling too fast or hard. Someone could have ran up and side checked him right before he hit the ground, lessening the velocity. There's a chance you could say he probably would have died, but there's a chance. Granted, you were risking your own life doing that, so it's understandable why no one would. This, yeah, what, are you, what are you guys but, are saying right now. But at the end of the video, it's just, just at the end of the video, I didn't yeah. seem like the roller coaster going down that fast. But at the same time, it was from a pretty high place where he fell down. So like. And so I might be wrong because it was in the end of the video. So I might have just, they kind of might have just like send a, a write down and kind of stopped it at some point where it started like going down slowly, but still like a very fast pace, which kind of sent him off the seatbelt. But also it's kind of like the people's fault who didn't check the seatbelt right because that that like, is why I'm so yeah afraid. they have to go row by row checking if everyone's like secure and safe and they have their seatbelt on instead of like oh letting everyone go in and uh That's risking the, the life of someone that yeah. might have not put their seatbelt on correctly yeah, that's what I have told my mom a thousand times why I don't like to go into music parks and I don't like going on roller coaster rides. Because I tell her, there's a, it's small, but there's a chance I could mm. very easily die on this thing. She says very few people die. I say, yes, but I am so unlucky. I will be one of those few people. I swear. <laughs> I so unlucky. Are you, aren't you I'm, scared of the ocean as well? I am also scared of the ocean because, like, like it is so fast. Like, I just realized. I'm at, I'm at. I, you I know how it. powerful a tide is? That can pull you out hundreds of meters into the ocean. And then there's just, no, 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 no. depending on where you are, whales, sharks, so many. The ocean is so unknown, vast, and you're yeah, not an aquatic we, race. We're not an aquatic race. We don't, have a, we don't have the ability to fully maintain our normal natural abilities in water. Like, I would sooner fight a bear than a shark. because I, I wouldn't even be necessarily afraid to fight a bear. I'm not afraid of, like, trying to defend myself. I'm afraid of sharks because they have that aquatic advantage over me. Like, mm -hmm. we're, we're not built to fight in water. But you want to know yeah. what I just realized? What? I know, I know all of your fears. What? <laughs> yeah, you probably, I, I made a fears. video naming a lot of them. Yeah, I, I'm kind of scared of the ocean because sometimes I'm the one to, like, kind of forget, all oh, what I'm doing. So there was this time when I was nine years old and I was with my older brother. There was this ocean. My dad was fishing and stuff. So me and my older brother decided to go for a swim. I needed the little floaties since I didn't know how to swim at the time, right? I was young. Uh, so I just kind of, like, kind of started uh, swimming around, not looking back. I was having fun with my brother until I realized that I was kind of, like, drowning and sinking because the water reached to, like, my chin. Wait a minute. So I, feel like I just told me looked this back and I saw how far away my father was. And then I look at the other side and I noticed I was hella close to a city. And I don't live near a city. Like, no. I, feel, I feel like you've told me this before. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I've heard I, this story before. Also, this was a point I had brought up in a classroom once. I am more afraid of... Now, I just brought up why I'm afraid of sharks. I definitely have a present fear of sharks. But I, I, am, I am more afraid of an alligator and uh, well, yeah. like dolphins than I am of sharks. Yeah, because, because alligators... I'm afraid of sharks if they try to fight. I'm afraid of sharks more once the fighting begins because they have a huge advantage over me in the water. But sharks are quite docile creatures towards humans. At least some sharks. There are a few sharks that are very. Well, it's because you know, since, since our blood is made up of iron, they don't like that taste. So you know they really don't. Yeah. They're like puppies of the ocean. Crocodiles not only can fight you in that aquatic nature, but even if you get to land in safety, they can still follow you. On top of that, That's they will, they will rip you to shreds. Plus, the waters you're going to find a crocodile in. Are far murkier and harder to swim in than one that you'd end up fighting a shark in. So I would be much more afraid of a scenario where I was put up against a crocodile than a shark. Also, Whereas dolphins. Dolphins are rapists. Yeah. I don't want to fight a dolphin. Oh, oh. You know, oh, dolphins, yeah. dolphins, dolphins actually hunt sharks. You know that? 
Yeah, they hunt they, 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 yeah, for fun, and they're literally known as rapists of the sea. Like, yeah, I for fun. I'd rather die to a shark than I would rather be raped by a dolphin. No, uh, but I, hold on. What was that one shark's name? Like White Shark or something like that? The Great White. The Great White. The Wait, what? Great White. The Great the White is the one they usually hunt. Yes. Yeah, the one that usually hunts and can fucking beat the shit out of sharks and play with their own food, like slapping the shit out of it. Like that's dolphins. Yeah. No, wait, no. It's because there is another type of shark that's oh, I just kind of forgot the name of it, but the two most dangerous sharks it? I can think of. Great white sharks are some of the bigger ones, but they are they're not, they're they're not, not, they're the they're, they're most, not the they're biggest. Like, they're not the biggest and they're kind of docile. The two most like, like dangerous sharks in my opinion are bull sharks and tiger yeah. sharks. Tiger yeah, sharks bull, actually do not Tiger sharks do not care what they consume. They will eat boots. They also are known for swimming in shallow water, and they are still a rather big shark. On top of that, bull sharks can swim in, like, not just salt water. They can swim in, like, yeah. that water, that, like, yeah, that's what I was about to say. They So they have more, like, versatility of what kind of waters they can appear in. So I have... gotta think, um, a bull shark, it... Like, if you're fighting, like, just a normal bull shark, not an overgrown, you might have, like, a little chance. They're, they don't get that big. Yeah, they don't. I just don't want to see them in my waters. <laughs> like, that's why I don't like swimming. I just don't like swimming. I really don't. I don't like to swim at all unless it's, like, a hot tub. I like hot tubs because they're relaxing. I like warm pools. Like, I don't... Hot tubs sometimes are too hot. So if it's like a pool, which means it's indoors, it's not outside either, because when the sun's, be- it just makes it awkward. But I like indoor hotel pools that are heated. Those are my dream. Those are the things. Those are the only thing I like to swim in, because I like it when the water is very warm. So I have, I hate the cold in every way, fashion. I don't even like eating cold drinks, like drinking cold drinks. I I don't refrigerate my drinks, like ever. Well, like, I, mean, I have a question. I have a question for you. So you're like. Scared of all sharks, correct? I mean, like I said, I'm scared of fighting them. Like I have swam with sharks, but they're not. Like, they're not. Qu- big question: Since the yeah. nurse shark is considered the most friendly shark out of all of them. Would you swim open water with a nurse shark? Sure, not I that, swam. They're, they're I've not swam with sharks before. Yeah, the nurse sharks they're 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 very nice. I've never swam with them. I want to. You know, they're very nice. They're sweet. Nice. With a hammerhead. I saw a hammerhead when I was. Yeah, hammerhead. At this point, I've never seen a, like, kind of aquatic fish or animal in my life, except the little fishies that I, that my parents took me on a trip to Bustamante. We went to the bridge. We went to swim in the lakes because we were able to, and we were also able to fish. So I was, um, like, fucking swimming with the fishes, right? But then once I got out of the shower, I looked down at my foot, and I have all these kind of, like, bites and stuff, like, these kind of white stuff and stuff. Like, I was like, Mm. oh, no! I was scared. So I'm kind of, like, afraid if I will ever fucking get infected, because it is possible. Yeah, that's another reason I'm scared of waters and oceans, is because... Like diseases, like you heard about that one guy at Crystal Beach that like lost a leg because of the like diseases that were in the water. Hey, bro. Mm-hmm. Also, I am terrified as frick of jellyfish because you can like fight a shark. Like you, you oh. have a chance against all those jellyfish. They just touch you. You're frick. <laughs> and like, there's no punching them away because if you punch them, you touch them. Like you're, like you like you're, you can't fight them. <laughs> Well, that's you can me. swim away because they are insanely no, slow. No, that's the thing. They also can travel in large hordes. If you get, if you accidentally yeah. swim into like a horde of jellyfish, you're done, my guy. Because that pain in the middle of the ocean is super immense. And like, there's some like low tier jellyfish, but freaking man o war stings can be fatal. And if you get like caught up in a swarm, bro. You're, you're you're just done. I would like to point out in Finding Nemo when they when that man like literally ran through Seplo that a a freaking clownfish would have died to one small sting. That was some Disney movie bull crud right there. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he swam through like eighty of those man should have died. Official, uh, the dude died in the start of the movie. Yeah. But 
Yeah, I say I'm pretty afraid of many things. And ever since that, like, 14-year-old boy who died over a fucking roller coaster, my mom was like, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm never taking you to a carnival ride ever again. And I was like, oh, shit, man. All right. <laughs> That's what you call somebody ruining it for everybody else. Anyways, about my fears. I'm being 100% honest here. I'm not, like, scared of any specific things. Like, I, of, course I get, of course I get scared like FNAF scares the crap out of me but you know I'm not scared of specific things like there's no specific thing that scares me I think you not just have I, I, I just think you don't know gonna I'm sure I think you just need to what? analyze what scares you and find out what your exact fears are well um, things with like backstory scares me like you know if you play FNAF and you don't know the backstory you're not going to be that scared but I know the entire FNAF lore Meaning everything is scary. I don't know. Have you seen Matt Pat? You know, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I don't exactly. watch. I don't you watch know. FNAF streamers. They're kind of weird. Did he? Um, no, no. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, hey, fear. Fear is not fear. Fear is powerful. It tells you what your weaknesses are. Once you know what your weaknesses are, you can become stronger as well as kinder. Face your fears. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. but. Another thing I'm kind of scared of when, like, I still fucking do it and I like is, uh, like, murder cases. Because y'all heard that one murder case. I forgot the name of it. But basically, lady was in a hotel. The next day, they found her in a water tank. And she was dead. No one knows how she died. She was in an elevator. Remember, she was in an elevator. She exited and she ran back in the elevator panting. Oh, yeah. I'm scared of elevators. And then, and then, like, like she ended up in the stairs. Tank. I'm going upstairs. Like, I don't. And then, I'm like, not the kitty case as well. Like, oh my god, actually, why did they stuff her body inside there? No, I actually know what happened. If you would like to hear it, yeah. You know, basically, there's this like Satan game, like a double game that you can do. If you press a series of floors, a certain series of floors on an elevator, you click but it and. Just- like it would bring you to another oh, world, and like I, then I this, know what like, you're doing here. I know what you're doing yeah. here. Like I heard of this before, but it didn't seem. I my mind is kind of blurry right now. But I don't think she clicked any buttons, right? Like she didn't click a, like any type of series of did. Numbers. Like you uh, did, unless we're talking about different stories. But like she was pressing like a bunch of buttons for some reason. She clicked a bunch of buttons, and then she left the elevator, went ran back in the elevator, like in a corner, like just panting and like. Scared, and then I think the camera footage cuts off, and then like, poof, gone. Water tank. Hmm. Then maybe, maybe she did actually did that, but uh, we That's don't know I because it's believe. never confirmed. It was never confirmed how she died or anything. So her murder or accident is still a mystery. Mystery but because you also got to think yeah. because I remember them like say I know what you're talking about. I remember them saying like nobody had entered like the building and or exited. And nothing like was opened, and she just appeared there. Yeah, but there was another case. I kind of forgot the story, but the Hello Kitty case about. Yeah, I've never uh, heard of it. Yeah, uh, basically there was these group of guys who beat the shit out of this woman, and then they stuffed her body in a Hello Kitty like plushie, the big ones. So they made yeah. her body fit into that plushie sealed it off and then something happened police found it and yeah they even showed oh. pictures of the stuff the hello kitty it was like bloody and all that i, I have a question for you what you like look you like looking at like for no reason just like looking at gore well like like not really? like looking it up not like when you're bored you just look up images but like if you see gore you're gonna stare at it for a little while like ooh, that's neat yeah, well gore is really not my thing i might talk about it or joke about it but i'm not really into gore because the first gore i ever seen in my life was when back then i had discord like two years ago i believe i i deleted it after that because my parents found out like what people were sending me stuff like gore and stuff like that pedophile and shit we don't want to talk about that but the first video they sent me this one is a pretty popular video where uh this guy got a shotgun and shot himself live in facebook i believe he was like 
a streamer or something. I'm not sure, but he was suicidal and stuff. He called someone. I think they were sending the police over there. And he shot himself. Like, he had his whole head open, blood dripping down. Yeah. There's, then, there's a lot of suicide that happened on Facebook. Yeah, then there was another video. I don't know if they got it from the dark web or deep web, but there was this video of a guy shitting on a piece of bread and eating it. Then that's not the worst part. I, this might be uncomfortable since you guys are guys, but they also sent me another video. The person who was spamming people with the gore videos, they showed mm -hmm. me a video they also got of a guy cutting off his ding dong. In the crunch with a knife in his thing. The crunch. Yeah, because, because when he was doing it, I heard this steering crunch like, oh, oh. Then oh, after it. that, when he cut it off, it was bleeding so much. He needed to get like a towel or something. He he wasn't like even screaming or anything. Like I I just oh this crunch oh god. Have you ever thought, like, if it was fake or not, or did it look legit? It looked legit. Uh, yikes. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm deleting this cord. I'm going to tell my parents about this, and I'm deleting this cord for a year or two. And, yeah, I came back. I met you, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If I had a guess, like, I know a lot about the human body. Um, Where your ding-dong is located, there are multiple veins that run through there. And then whenever those veins close off, blood gets stuck in there, and then hence resulting in a boner. That's how it works. If I had a guess, um, that's exactly what happened. Except the veins didn't close off. The veins kept pumping blood. Hence why it was bleeding a lot. That's what I think, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, but sometimes it's just like, dude, why the hell, like, these people... I'm glad they finally added the policies or something, or if not, I didn't saw them before. I'm glad they did all this stuff, like, they scanned the messages or something, because back then, it was pretty wild. I was in a bunch of servers at a young age, but then there will be people joining and sending, going into your DMs, and they'll be sending mm. you gory stuff, all Nazi for work and stuff, and exactly. you'll be getting in trouble for it, like, yeah. Okay. It's actually this um, server that I'm in. It's not as bad as what you're saying, but it used to be. It's called Street, Street Can's Den of Memes. Basically, I just searched up memes and joined the first one I found. That's where I get my daily memes. You see, like, funny videos that I post. I get it mo mostly from there. Um, but, like, there was a time whenever that server was almost getting close to getting deleted by Discord themselves due to it being so bad. Because, like, people were posting all a bunch of Nazi things, like, Nazi-related memes, which apparently is bad, or something. But, like, um, then this person said, don't, no, don't post Nazi or else instant ban. I don't know why, but that was funny to me. But then, like, there was this one time, actually, um, quite recently, I think in December, this guy posted, like, this really gory image. It was some wreck this guy had. His entire body was split into two. But it was still connected, like... Near the lower waist, it was still connected, so it was like flapped, flopped over, and you could just like see everything. Was it real though? Like, was it real? Oh, yeah, it was real. It was real. Oh, oh, God. it was like no. it was like crazy. And like I said, for some reason, I stared at it for a while. Of course, it got deleted because you know that, that was bad. He got banned. <laughs> Actually, the reason they said um. Um, the reason they said for the ban was really funny. It, they said ban um such and such. Dude, what the was that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, there's things. Yeah, but the people who are like out there trying to like do stuff, they have to keep in mind. There's little kids that fake their age into this core, like twelve year olds, eleven oh, year olds, nine year olds, and they will be going into DMs. Yeah, exactly, we know. Like, I know. Not supposed to be in the internet. The funny uh, thing is, most but... of the server are children, like younger people. Like I look at the, I look at it daily, and I'm like, yeah, these are some adults. And then I'm like, oh wait, most of them are younger than me. Yeah, but at the same time, like the people who are sending this type of shit, they should make their own servers where they have that. Like they could send that because, yo, there's children out here 
who you're trying to traumatize. Because I also got traumatized by that video of the guy shooting himself. I was traumatized for like a year Uh, or so. And I still am. Like, I still think about it. And it's like horrible. Like, it just makes me sick just thinking about it. But I don't want that, like, happening to other children. Yeah, I know, like, oh, kids should not be talking to strangers and blah, blah, blah. But Jesus. That I now I see why people don't want like kids in the internet or shit because of these people trying to like traumatize or send stuff that they know they're not supposed to. They know whatever link they found them. It was a hidden link or something like that. And it was only meant for that link. It wasn't meant for the whole world or anything. Yeah, that that's basically like in the street can't dan memes, the server, I don't say anything. I've never typed anything in there because I realized how bad it was and many people getting, like, reported for DMs or something. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pretend I'm not here and steal a bunch of memes. And (laughs) I've been doing that for, like, many months now. Oh, Lord. Like, I have, like, I use... There was this point, like, you can ask literally anybody, Baljeet, Puff, Nachos, Hyra, any of them, even Amet, maybe Amet. I'd ha- there was this one point I had 20 gigabytes of just memes on my phone. <laughs> like, well, I think I took a screenshot of it once. I feel like you guys, if I'm being honest, the people who, like, send all this gory mm-hmm. shit or anything, I don't know how I should picture them and how they act in real life or anything. I don't know if they go out. Because for you guys, <laughs> I see it like a... I see you guys like good people, like, oh, yeah, I have to do this. Let's get over with. Like, y'all wake up, do work and stuff. I see you guys like amazing people in real life that wants to get over with everything. They want have good dreams and all that, good careers and stuff. But the people who are just like kind of like sending this kind of stuff, I'm still questioning how their life is. Are there good people or bad people? Like, do they do stuff like drugs? What, what do you answer this question for you? Um, basically, we're talking about how bad Discord is and how much gory and like bad things people send in DMs. But I, I can I can actually answer that question for you. Basically, all they yeah. are, are people who want attention. They want attention, either that or they know their life isn't going anywhere, so they just don't care anymore. That's what most yeah. of them probably are. What are you guys talking about? Well, like we're talking about like how some people like sending gold. And like bad things to um, younger children. Oh, Discord. I thought you were just talking about like seeing bad stuff, like, bro. Like I've got a few gory servers. Like, you know. yeah, you missed a bit. Wait a minute. What's the yeah. worst server you've ever been part of? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no! Don't I answer can't. that. Don't answer I that. I can't say it. I can't say that. I, I know the answer to that question. He, he just like. He's like, the, I'm like, ah. The worst server I ever been before. Well, I don't say I join any bad servers at the moment right now in my new oh, like, yeah. But back then, I could send I was the link. Really stupid well. child. No, I joined this e girl or e boy shit. I was like, oh, what's e girls or e boys? And I was like, join. I went to not safe for work. Mm. Oh, oh my god, you have no idea. I could send you a server that would scar you for life. No. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. It wouldn't necessarily scar. I don't think it's a scar. Are you ever it, it, it's just have messed up. Ever. Is it, is it the D and D server? Is it the D and D server? Or no, 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 no. I'm talking about a very famous server. No, but... I mean. Oh, very famous. Oh, okay. But if that wasn't the server I joined at the, then I will probably say roleplay servers. But that server, Evoy and E Bo- uh, E Girls, like, oh my god. But I'm still a pretty good fan of roleplay. I say roleplay kind of expresses me out more. I can get to be people I don't want to be. Like, oh, I could do yeah. this. Yo, I mean, not like not like that. That I don't do any of that. But like, it's kind of like cool because like. Oh, you can get to do things like no, yeah. uh, I'm at have, have you played D and D before? 
It's no. literally what you're describing. Oh like, like, my gosh. Right. You love role play, but you've never played D&D. Yeah. I cannot believe it. See, Dylan has a girlfriend in D&D. You can be whatever you want. Whoa. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. In, in the D&D I'm... world. So many D and D later, right now. Let's talk about another topic. I've, I've, we I've want to get into. Yo, so I, how do you do role play? Are you like in a theater class? Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Speaking of role play, for some reason, right when she said role play, I um, it reminded me of this meme I saw. It said Ratatouille eighteen plus role play, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had it, I had it. A screen, it was like a screenshot of the join. So what? like. It looks like you're already joining. Red. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you have? <laughs> funny looking, too. <laughs> Red it to me, all of a sudden turns into a whole human. Human uh, body, body in a bed with you. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Topic. Topics, topics, boys, boys, boys. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing chickens right now. I'm putting them in the, back in the cage. Yo, today, today freaking chicken, I, freaking chickens, I had to put chickens inside of this defeathering machine. It was some wacko. Um, my question, whatever happened to the, you know. Uh, we don't talk about the spending, uh, trying to spend 24 hours. Well, it started as 48 yeah. Then to 24, then it went down yeah, to started, 8 hours. started at 24 and went to um 8, because we realized 24 no, is actually no, it, it started, I think, with the very first idea, it was 48 hours, and then it oh, turned yeah. to 24. Then it turned to 12 hours, then it turned to 8 hours. Then it was like, okay, maybe 2, and then my grandma called me like 30 minutes in, and we're like, bro, I want, you want to go to Castle <laughs> yeah. Basically, like, like, let me give you some backstory. Basically, long time ago, if you like scroll way down on our channel, you see Amet came over to my house for the first time. We had so many content ideas. We made so much content. We actually took a walk around Jasper. And we yeah. filmed it. And we, we called it Pimp and Toddler. But, you know, I watched We need like, more Pimp and Toddler content. Like, I, I watched the video. I watched the pre-recorded video. And I'm like, good God, this is retarded. So I was just like, let's not upload it. We need Upload. Ah, oh, man. Pigeon spinners, bro. Those were a thing. I think he's bringing himself. Is he? Wait, are is he cooking chicken with oil or what? Yo, I just spun a fidget spinner with my broken sternum. Oh my god. Yo, uh, I I don't have a okay. fidget spinner. I broke mine when I was in elementary. I was like. Bruh, I got oh, that reminds spinner. me. Actually, guys, and I have a broken. I I think I broke my sternum. Like I think I have a broken sternum. I broke it yeah. a long time ago. Bro, and, uh, I have like a little. Thing. You had like good back then. They distracted a lot of kids. Okay. The, I have the whole purpose was to not was to cure distraction. It was a. Uh, it was ironic. Basically, like I, I know you guys are talking about fidget spinners, so I'm going to tell you about this really cool fidget spinner I used to have. Basically, it was this brass customizable fidget spinner. It was really was it, cool. Is it, is, is it Jackson's fidget spinner? Is it, is uh, it, no, he took it and took it in the bathtub, and now it's rusty. Well, that yes, sounds like I, I have a little brother. You can ask Dylan how he is. He, he he's the he's the best guy on the planet. Don't yeah. <laughs> It's, he 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 likes messing with my things. Like I, I think I think it's a younger brother thing because like um Dylan, you like messing Bro. with your older brother's things, correct? Of course, of course. I'm in because you, you think they're because you think they're cool. 
like they, basically this fidget spinner it had like it had sure. a, a total of six eight yeah eight it had like eight little um things it wasn't like yeah. a normal fidget it wasn't like a normal fidget spinner like you know, um it's really hard to explain but it had these like so little, I have a basic like, Walgreens fidget spinner so you can like, you know put flex in you know up like you know what water jugs are you know those big jugs the shape of them uh, well, yeah. imagine you put eight of those oh, on yeah, a circle. Yeah, yeah. Like, imagine you put eight of those on a circle. That's exactly what I got. It span really well. It was so nice to hold, but then it rusted and like nasty. Yeah, I should bring my yo fidget spinners haven't been a thing for like three years. I'm gonna bring a fidget spinner to school tomorrow. Just start spinning around. People will be like, yo, those things again. And I'm gonna start the trend of fidget spinners again. And it's gonna be all. Right, try to get multiple people to do it. Oh like, yeah, bring back. Like, like, you wanna know how bad our school is? Like our district. Well, our district itself it really isn't that bad, but basically, like the food they give us is like horrible. So there was this it's, time it's where everybody. Literally, it's, it's literally a homeless person would need it sometimes. <laughs> like there was this time when people were gonna go on strike and not eat the food, so they'd give us better food. I want but, that to happen. I want. The but school. then, like. We're all bringing more. Like it, it, it's word spread around, but then people realize how hard it was. So like five people actually did it. Bashar was one of them. Bajit, um, Bajit was one of them. We need more than five people. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many people did it? But like what they said was Miss, Miss, like Miss Miss Powell, which is our culinary teacher, said that it's not going to change anything. They don't choose the food that we get. It's the um, it's Texas. They deliver the food. No, but they can choose how it's prepared and on what days it's. Oh given. yeah, yeah. That's they true. give cool kits. Like cool kits are something that everyone kind of agrees is okay. Yeah. Like it's not. It's not. Bad. Cool kits are amazing. Like when you have cool kits where you're at. You know what a cool um, kit is. A cool kit. Yeah, a cool kit. Like cool kit. Basically, it has like a peanut butter and oh, jelly circular cool. sandwich, carrots with ranch, and all that. No, but uh, I, I have a I have a suggestion though. Like, why don't you all start like a petition or some shit? Because back then in my school, luckily I wasn't in school, I think, or something. I wasn't born, or I wasn't able. I wasn't the age back then in my middle school, which I'm so in middle school, but I'm gonna go to high school. Yes, I'm young. Uh, yeah, they did. My school was like their food was so bad. They give like rotten food, expired milk, expired oh, food, and all that. So the kids kind of had enough of it. So they just had a whole. They had this one single piece of paper. Signed, wrote the reason why they had that paper. Told every kid in the school. I think it was every kid or not. It was like a whole two, uh, seventh grade or sixth grade or something like that. They had it sign sign their name there. They gave the t paper to the principal, and then from there, they just made the changes. It didn't improve the food, but at mm. least they're not giving us rotten or expired food or milk. Gotcha. Well, I like, yeah. compare the United States to other places, like literally any other place, our, our food is just terrible. Like, compare it to France. France gets a whole medium rare steak. Medium rare steak. Um, Japan, I really don't know. Um, Ahmet, you, Ahmet wants to go live in Japan. Oh, you wanted to go to Japan for a vacation, right? Well, I guess he's in the audience. Get back here. There he is. So, I'm Ahmet, a... didn't you, didn't you want to go to Japan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I was saying about the cool kits, bro, I think I cut out. The cool yeah, kits. The cool kits are something that I like them just like you. Like, they're pretty amazing, but... I'm talking on a general scale, pretty much everyone enjoys them to a degree. Like, no one hates a cool kid. But yeah. they give the cool kids on days where the food is, like, acceptable. Like, there's a few food options they give us in a month that are okay. And on those days, they have the cool kit, which is a substitute option. Which means that the only days we have this substitute option are on days when we have food that we can stand. If they just move cool kit days... Mm -hmm. To like days where it's bad food, then we can just take cool kits on those days. Also, you can prepare this food in much better ways. I am a terrible chef, but my gosh, buy yeah. some salt. Like most. Actually, actually, 
Me and Amet were joking how we'd open a restaurant. We would sell burnt cereal. <laughs> I, I don't know how. We would burn the cereal. Yes. <laughs> like, I, 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 actually, that actually exists. Like, um, I saw this, like, video one time in The Simpsons. Like, Homer was making a bowl of cereal, and it just burst into flames. That, that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. Because Amet cannot cook. We actually, we actually did a no. video long ago. Where it we doesn't cook. take it take salt and pepper. Just give me some salt and pepper. Gosh dang! Oh, no, don't give him salt and pepper. Remember that? Remember we gave you salt and pepper and you put it, you overdosed. I your like pepper. a lot of salt and pepper. <laughs> Basically, if you scroll down like a lot in our Amet videos, while he was here, we did cooking with Amet Tempest or something. Cooking, cooking with Amet and cook, something like that. Cooking with us. And we cooked eggs. I cooked mine. He cooked his. His were actually pretty good, well cooked. But yeah, I, there, yeah, was this, yeah. there was this one point actually. He grabbed the um, what was it? The olive oil, the Pam spray olive oil, and um, I was like, you should spray that in your mouth. And he was like, and just sprayed it right in his mouth. Oh I, I, I I don't know why. What did it taste like? It tasted bad. Okay, <laughs> good description. That's exactly yeah, what he said too. Yeah. I wanted to know what it tastes like. It was bad. What do you want to know how oil tastes like? You it's all you idiots. It's an olive hey. oil. There's a difference. Yo, all right. Is 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 that the end of the podcast? I guess so. You can close us off. Um, Anything you would like to add? Um, to be continued. <laughs> that, 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 that's the word. Just like close us off. Tell them like everything they should do. You know, I if you don't understand what I'm saying. Say, thank you for a hundred subscribers. Even if that number changes after this video, it happened, and that is something they can't change because unless they build a time machine, which means another. If you did that, you put in a lot of effort, and you kind of deserve it. But if you don't, <laughs> at the very least, in the past, there was a time when we had the hundred subscribers, and I do thank everybody. Every single one of those subscribers. Um, Thank you. Also, remember, comment. Um, well, Lake Plant is on the side where I post a FNAF episode. Comment if you want more Walking Dead episodes or FNAF episode series started. Just let me know. Whichever one comes on top, that's what we're going to do. Maybe um, the, uh, comment like seven times. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, you want me to comment? Um, well, j I need, like, to know how many people want FNAF series and how many people want Walking Dead series. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do both of them, but which one should I do first? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm only gonna, ep like, if you choose FNAF, I'm only gonna do one episode and then continue with Walking Dead, because that got to get uploaded. That has to get uploaded. A ASAP. Uh, it, has a, it has an ending. A really good ending. And, um, I was actually telling Hyro about it, um, the other day, and he said, "No, don't tell me anything." I I, I watch those videos. I like that game, and so yeah. Um, so just remember, comment um if I should do FNAF series episode one or Walking Dead series and, episode five. And have a nice day or night. And have a and nice day. Wait, 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 Let's have go ahead nice and plan life. on a thousand subscribers. Let's go ahead and plan on that. Oh, uh, let's hit a thousand, boys. Bruh, what what should we do for a thousand? For so a thousand, like, if they watch, if they watch all the way to this, we gotta do something crazy, something they would never expect. Yo, what if we do a Amit, sword fight? Amit will be modest for a day. <laughs> what if we do a sword fight? Like if we get it like before next summer, because next summer I'm going to boot camp. If like, what if we do a sword fight? Like you have a bunch of swords. Well, no, we can just like use sticks, very firm sticks. What if we did a sword fight? I have kind of, like, you kind you're of trained. You're trained with the sword, but I can do the moves. So you know, it'd be an even fight. <laughs> I watch. I watch a lot of Metal Gear Solid and Metal I Gear. I watch Rise. a lot of Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Anywho, I watch uh, Bamboo Blade. Anywho, uh... okay, cool. Remember, um, thousand subs. We'll do a sword fight, and whoever wins gets um a hundred dollars from the other person. Deal. All right, that sounds Deal. good to me. Fine to me. We we can we, we can just do a lightsaber duel. That that'd be better. Uh, All right. Well, you? remember subscribe. Get us to a thousand subscribers before next next summer. Not, no, no, not this no summer. I got before it. Next this summer. is not a promise, depending on how long it takes us. Like if this happens tomorrow, I don't know if we'll have the monetary means, but we might 
that doesn't mean take a while to do it. Now, if it happens tomorrow, I might. There's still a chance. I won't say that. I'm just saying, thousand subscribers, we might do like a, a thousand dollar giveaway. Maybe. Like those times. Dude. I mean, I would put most of the money in, but you know, dude. But how we could would we do that? How how do you get random subscribers? This is this, this is enough of podcast. That would be a time for another time. Anyways, that's the end of this podcast. Remember, I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Hope you actually have listened. Nice life, you know, I don't because I don't want to assume it's day or night. So I'll just say, have a nice life. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah. Remember, join the Discord server. You can listen to these live. They're really interesting. And hey, if you do the join the Discord server, you have a chance of being a special guest. Everybody yep. who joins the um, Discord server gets a chance to be a special guest. That is true. Next week, it's going to be Baojit, since he was already picked. And then after that, it would be Tomato Dude, a.k.a. Hyro. We, um, we will be talking... Oh, I will be host next week. I gotta think of what we gotta talk about. Yeah, I'm never prepared for these things. <laughs> well, that's the end of this podcast. I uh, hope you enjoy. Remember, join our Discord server. Uh, you can post memes. I'll make a memes channel. You can post memes. Dude, just keep it, keep it like not too bad. Yo, man. why are oh, why are our goodbye sign offs like ten minutes long? Like, don't join, post like nudity, and then just leave. That, that yeah, yeah. you know, I will find you because you know I have the ability to. You you can you can ask anybody. I have the ability to find you. It's actually this one guy. Actually, no, we don't need to talk about this oh. story. All right, so you guys have have a nice life later. Yeah.